I just purchased an Evicta 1953, and today I'm going to unbox it and share my first impressions. Welcome to the Watch Closet. I'm COE33, CO for short, and guys, I think it's safe to say that I'm cuckoo for watches. If you enjoy watch collecting content as much as I do, help me grow this channel and appease those algorithm overlords by subscribing and ever so gently polishing that like button. Before we get into the unboxing, let's do a wristwatch check. I'm keeping with the Invicta theme and wearing my Invicta Pro Diver. It's a titanium bracelet with fold-over clasp and NH35 automatic movement. Invicta. The watchmaker's watchmaker, the holy trinity of Swiss hot horology, the pinnacle of design, and undisputed king of finely crafted heirloom quality timepieces. Oh wait, let me try that again. Invicta, Shop HQ trash, overstyled eyesores, Rolex ripoff artist minus the art. That might be too harsh. One more time. Invicta. Invincible in detail since 1837, the embodiment of precise engineering and detailed design, embracing original concepts and achieving technical revelations. Ugh, I give up. Invicta has some cool watches, and this is one of them. Alright guys, here we go. Unboxing time. Invicta 1953. Now, I've got a bunch of Invictas in my collection. I believe I have six, so this would probably be seven. Um, maybe six, six or seven, but quite a few. And I quite like them. Good watches. You get a lot of watch for the money. Of course, we all know they have some watches that I would consider over the top and overstyled. But that's not to say they don't have a place. You know, everyone has different tastes and likes. And uh, just because it's not something I enjoy doesn't mean something, it's not something someone else is going to enjoy. And uh, here we go. I've been wanting to get one of these 1953s for quite a while, guys. This is a watch that I've had my eye on. It's, um, it's a cool looking piece. And I'm glad to finally have one here in the watch closet. So unboxing time, we got this little outer sleeve and it's got some little information there. We don't need that. And then of course we have the classic Invicta yellow box. Invicta, invincible in detail since 1837. And actually they, Invicta has been around since 1837, that's true. But in the early 90s, there was the buyout. So the company is not the same that it used to be. But that said, there are some cool vintage Invictas out there on the market that you can find on eBay. So I do like their packaging. You got this classic yellow box. I think it definitely, you know, it says, you know exactly what you're getting when you see this box. It's an Invicta. So let's take this off. We don't need that. And then there we go. Now, this is, some boxes are a little nicer than this one. This one just has the watch right there on a pillow. And guys, look at that. There we go. Wow. Invicta 1953. Now, what I like about this watch is the simplicity and the size. It's like the perfect dimensions and it's just a simple design. Look at that dial. You just have Invicta 1953 automatic and that's it. That's all that you see on the dial. And uh, it's got applied indices and um, you got a kind of a lollipop seconds hand there, which I really like. It's got an NH35 automatic movement stainless steel bracelet. And let's see, what do we got here? Is there any stickers on the actual crystal itself? No, it's not. I wonder if this was a display model or this one just doesn't have stickers. Who knows? And then, of course, we have our hang tag. And then we're going to have to take some of these little stickers off the bracelet there. Simple pillow. There's the box. We don't need that. And uh, let's get this off the pillow, shall we? Let's see here. What are we working with? And typical Invicta fold-over clasp. And you got the little little fold over right there, double fold over, excuse me. And then you open it like that. And uh, classic Invicta. And let's see, what are they saying the retail is? Ooh, six hundred and ninety-five dollars. Wow. Now I got a bargain because I bought this on Amazon for less than a hundred dollars. Guys, <laughs> they put this on here. This is one of the things I don't like about Invicta: these overinflated retail prices. But I will say, for under a hundred dollars, this is a hell of a watch. I mean, NH35 automatic movement, uh, great, you know, nice, well-made stainless steel bracelet, great proportions, um, good manufacturing, quality watch. What a looker. This is a great looking piece. Look at that. And, oh, wait a minute. I don't have, interesting, this one doesn't have the decorated yellow rotor. Now, 
that's unusual. Normally, so this may not be the NH35 variant. Let me see. I'm going to look at it real close here for a second. Okay, it is an NH35. It just doesn't have the Invicta yellow rotor. How unusual. I think every Invicta I have has that yellow rotor. But you know what? I kind of like it because, boy, it even adds to the, the kind of the vintage stylings even more without that yellow on there. And uh, I'm okay with that, guys. Pretty cool. So let's get this hang tag off of here. And we'll get this. Pop that right off. Let's see. Smarter than the hang tag. That's the problem. There we go. And it's kind of stuck there. Yep. Cool. Got that off. And we don't need that. Okay. And then we got some sticker action on here. And maybe a little watch ASMR. Quiet on set. All right, and just like that, we have all the stickers off. And let's see what we're working with here, guys. Okay, now I love that dial. We got kind of a faux patina. And you know what, let me break out the microfiber cloth here. We'll get this all polished up. Get all those fingerprints off of there. Get this looking good. And boy, look at no Invicta engraved on the side of the case, wow. And you got a sign crown there, so that's very nice with the little Invicta logo. You got some information on the case back. How's this bracelet? Yeah, I mean this, you know, this isn't the like most amazing bracelet in the world or anything, but I wouldn't say it's janky either. It's actually pretty solid. It feels good. And uh, now I'm gonna have to get this sized to my wrist, obviously. But I love the proportions of this. It's 40 millimeter case. It's got kind of that faux patina. It's got a combination of the baton indices and the circular indices there. And then you got that large upside down triangle at the 12 o'clock. And uh, simple text, a little red for the automatic. Very nice. Of course, it's got the two-tone bezel here. Now, how's the bezel action? Now, this isn't the full review, so I'll go into all the specs and everything at a later date. Let's listen to this for a second. Nice, nice bezel action, no back play, and uh, did I miss the spot or does it not line up? Hmm, let's go all the way back around. I don't know, is this going to line up? Let's get the clear out of there. One more. There we go, it lines up. Nice. Cool, good, good bezel play, I like that. Feels good, sounds good. Boy guys. For less than 100 bucks, this is a winner, I think. First impressions are good. And guys, there is Amazon affiliate links in the description if you want to pick one of these up on Amazon. I paid $88 for this two-tone Batman black and blue. And um, what a great little watch. I look forward to wearing this over the next couple weeks, getting some good solid wrist time. And then I'll do the full review later on the channel. And with that, that's my unboxing and first impressions of the Invicta 1953 Pro Diver. Stay tuned for the full review coming to the channel soon. I'm posting new videos every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can count on that. It's like clockwork. Follow me with my watch collecting adventures on Instagram, at Cuckoo for Watches. I'm live streaming on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. Follow me over there for wrist checks and retro gaming, at COE33. And if you're enjoying the content, be sure to watch this video of me reacting to the craziest watches on Amazon. And oh boy, there's some wild ones. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep your watches wound and your sapphires polished.